Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got a video for you about the gigantic purple cube that just spawned in Fortnite. I have figured out exactly what it is, what it's doing, and maybe some ideas about what it's going to be doing next. By now, most of you have seen the giant purple cube that showed up on the map. Many of you have probably shot it or hit it with a pickaxe, as I have, much to the detriment of your health. It killed me once on stream last night when I was first playing with it. But after some time and effort, I managed to figure out exactly what this cube is, and I think I've got some good ideas on what it's going to be doing next. So first things first, let's talk about where it came from. I was asleep when a lot of this went down, but the briefest of stories is, and I'm going to use at Fortnite BR as my news source, lightning was striking around this rock and chest every 15 minutes, destroying the cactuses. And when there were no cactuses left, this happened. And again, I'd like to give at Fortnite BR credit for this, and at Loot Lake BR, which is apparently the original source if you look a little closer, they're a Fortnite news website, so you could definitely check them out. They had a fantastic scoop earlier today on that gigantic cube spawning in the map. The cube itself is very huge and imposing. It's multiple stories high, many times larger than your player. It lords over the map and is super visible from a very, very long way off. Aesthetically, it reminds me a lot of the monoliths from 2001 A Space Odyssey, and the average player reaction to it isn't very different from these monkeys either. It was very clearly, clearly inspired by that uh, particular science fiction series. You can't really destroy it, you can't build on it, you can't do much to it. It does interact with you, it'll push back and attack you if you try to mess with it. And of note, you do slowly regenerate shields while you're near this giant cube, as I'm doing here. One other neat thing about it is that if you sit there, it is kind of on a cycle. It'll make some very interesting noises, just as some little bleep bloops, some very ominous, large, imposing sort of sounds. Just listen to them for just a second. After a little bit, symbols will spawn around the cube so that you can see them doing various things. Some people on Reddit tried to link the symbols to the visitor symbols, but I don't think they're really tied to the visitor because the symbols are quite different. However, if you watch very closely, I'm replaying the same clip here, I get that, there is some green smoky thing going on inside of the cube. There's something moving, something bubbling, something happening in there. Listening to the sounds, I thought that Epic would hide their Easter egg and their information inside of that ominous and sometimes random sounding noise, so I did a spectral analysis of the sounds that the cube makes, and I didn't really find very much. This is the spectral analysis of it. You don't see any hidden words, no Easter eggs, no weird audio patterns. You do see what looks kind of like a building with lights in the middle. That's when the symbols show up and it makes some boopy noises. If you zoom in on that and take a closer look, you'll see there's not much of a really interesting pattern except there do appear to be two slits like two little eyes that may just be accidental because it is a pattern we're looking at a repeating signal here so that might just be some background nonsense okay enough of that let's move on to the juicy part this is where i explain what the cube is and what's going on here I was originally investigating the cube in theater mode. I'm in theater mode right now. I was trying to show that there's a galaxy, there's some shimmer, there's something going on underneath the glass. And I was like, can I go into it? And ah, yes, Epic Games does let you go inside the cube. You can spectate in there. And that's really nice, except it's basically all dark and you can't really see anything. You get a little visual distortion. However, I screwed around for a little bit and I noticed something strange. There was a portion of the cube on the ground that was lit. It was still daylight. You could see it. So I went down and I noticed that the cube doesn't touch the ground all the way and that there appears to be a slightly smaller cube inside this cube and then a smaller cube inside that one. I know the, the visuals here are blurry, but what you're seeing is a cube literally inside of a cube. It's just very dark and difficult to kind of get your eyes on. So I'm going to try coming into the cube and now so you can see there's clearly another structure inside of it. And then when I go inside that cube, you can finally see the smoke billowing and all the sort of internal effects going on. But the neat and honestly the really telling part about this is that you have a cube inside of a cube inside of a cube. And that is a very, very specific thing known as a four-dimensional cube, hypercube, or 
Tesseract. Yes, uh, it does share the same name as the item from the Avengers Infinity War, or the very first Avengers. The Tesseract in that movie isn't a real, like, mathematical Tesseract, but it does look kind of like one, and they just wanted to give it a cool name. Coincidental naming and very fun Thanos mode aside, I don't think that this is any sort of Marvel crossover. A hypercube looks roughly something like this GIF I pulled off of Google. It's a, a four-dimensional cube, or tesseract, looks something kind of like this that I pulled off of Google. It's a four-dimensional shape, so to show it in three dimensions, you have to show it moving. What it's actually doing there is its version of rotating, as if we were turning it on its side, but we're turning it on the fourth side, which you can't really see. 4D is kind of a complicated topic, and as it would turn out, that was the topic that I wanted to tackle on my next personal video. Just It's just a cool topic. It's something that fascinates me. Extra dimensionality is very, very fun. But I'm going to try to do the quick and dirty version of 4D for today's video so it makes a little bit more sense for you guys. This is probably the best image I've ever found that explains it. Zero dimensions on the far left is just a dot. One dimensions connects two dots or a line. Two dimensions would be connecting multiple lines together, so you get a square. When you move it in three dimensions, which is what we normally see, uh, a square would turn into a cube. The weird one, though, is when you move up into a higher dimension than three, and as far as we know, there's about 11 of them, mathematically, scientifically speaking, but you can math out as many as you want, it would turn into a four-dimensional cube, or a hypercube, or tesseract, as it's called. These are real objects that do exist in real life. They're just very difficult for us human beings to perceive with our eyes. Here's a very similar graph that shows you that you can move up as many dimensions as you want. Uh, they kind of stopped at an eight cube or eight dimensional cube because the two dimensional projection gets so complex and so messy. This is a very fun image as well. If you were to take a cube or box and unfold its sides, you would see that it kind of looks like the cross on the left. However, if you were to unfold a hypercube, what you would get is a three-dimensional object that looks kind of like the 3D cr cross or spike on the right. Perhaps this little GIF of some shadow magic will unlock your brain a little bit or give you an idea of what's going on. It, it helps some people visualize it. It is a really complex topic. Here's another visualization that might help you explain exactly what this object is. As another example, I 3D printed this little guy, which is a... 3D projection of a four-dimensional cube or hypercube or tesseract or whatever you want to call it. As you can see, it's basically like a cube inside of a cube. The webcam doesn't seem to want to focus on it, but it is a real object. And if you could grab a hypercube and just put one part of it in our dimension, it would probably look something like this. And I'll definitely be using this prop again as an example in a much, much more complicated video that's coming in the future. Okay, so that's, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, I gave you the quick and dirty. Another dimensional video will come up later. The short version is Epic Games decided to put a four-dimensional object in their game, or at least a model of it, since it's really super stupidly hard to code for a real four-dimensional object. And it does have a coincidental name with the Tesseract and all the Marvel stuff. What this means for you gameplay-wise, and what the cube can do next, theoretically, is that the cube is quite literally part of a bigger object that exists mostly in another dimension. You're only seeing one part of this cube, one three-dimensional projection of it, when there's actually uh, many, many, many more sides to it that you haven't seen. Because most of this cube is sitting in another dimension, that means it can draw energy from a variety of unknown sources. That means that you could go into it and pop out a different place. And I would say the cube is very likely to move, rotate, or do some other strange, impossible thing sometime in the near future. It wouldn't surprise me if other three-dimensional faces or unfoldings of the four-dimensional cube would show up on other parts of the map or you might see it warping or expanding or doing something strange. Personally, I feel really relieved because I made that crazy theory a few days ago about the Porter Rift being part of the story and extra dimensionality. A lot of complicated stuff that a lot of people thought I was just smoking way too much weed and going off my rocker about, but the math checks out and this is definitely an extra dimensional object. And by the way, if anybody from Epic Games happens to be listening, I just wanted to let you know that the way you did this reveal, scientifically accurately with the hypercube and all, really impresses me, and I'm really happy with it. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.